Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. I'm going to show you in this video how to share out files and folders from Ubuntu 904. This is an update to the previous video I had, which is uh, old and antiquated at this point, which is for Ubuntu 610. Uh, several things that I instructed how to do in the 610 video are just don't exist in Ubuntu 9 anymore. So actually, I don't think they've existed since Ubuntu 8. But anyway, here's how it goes. Uh, the first thing we need to do is share a folder out so we install the proper services. Now I'm going to do something really simple here. I'm going to go to uh, Places and then Pictures. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click inside and create a folder. And I'm just going to call it Screenshots. And what I'll do just to make a screenshot real quick to put a file in here, I'll just hit Print Screen. This, by the way, is one of the, I love this feature, where you can just hit the Print Screen and it just makes a, uh, a file of a PNG instantly so and then what I'll do is I'll put it in uh, other and then pictures and then screenshots and then open so it puts it save in folder screenshots and save so when I go in here now I have a file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this folder and then go to sharing options and then I'm going to share this folder and it's going to give me a notice that said the sharing service is not installed. You need to install the Windows Network sharing service in order to share your folders. Install. You may or may not see this. Uh, you may have already installed it at this point, but if you see it, you know what to do. So then we do the authentication, which is the local Ubuntu account. It will go to the internet and download the necessary stuff, which doesn't take hardly any time at all. It's just two package files. Uh, the one that's getting is Samba itself, which is uh, four and a half megs. And then the other one, well, it went by too fast, I couldn't see it. But it has to download two of them. And then it goes ahead and it applies the changes, which will take just a moment here. This is the boring part, by the way, but figured I might as well show it. So there it goes, it unpacked it, processed the triggers, sets it up, does the policy stuff, and we're done. Successfully, let me just bring this back down. Successfully applied all changes, you can close the window now. So now at this point, it says you need to restart your session in order to enable sharing. What I've had to do here is I actually had to uh, reboot the Ubuntu session. Now I, I tried restart session and I thought it was going to actually restart it. It didn't work the way I wanted it to. So what I did is I canceled this and then I just went and I shut down and restart. So I'm going to shut this down and restart. And then when I come back, I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, I've successfully restarted my Ubuntu machine, but before I go and share this folder out, I have to change the workgroup name so it matches the name I have on my LAN. In my previous video, what I did is I went to, I think it was system administration, it was somewhere in here with a network tool, a uh, shared folder of permissions, and I was able to change my network name there. I cannot do this in Ubuntu 8 or 9, that feature is absolutely gone kind of ticks me off actually because you could do it from within the GUI before and now you can't. Um, before continuing, if there is anyone that knows how to change your workgroup name from within the GUI, please feel free to post a comment because I could not find out how to do it. That being the case, we're going to do it from the good old terminal. Applications, Accessories, Terminal. And we're going to edit the smb.conf file uh, the reason we're doing this now and not before is because this file will not exist until Samba is installed first. So if you actually try this command before you install Samba, it just doesn't exist and it'll say not found. So that's why we're doing it now. So we do a sudo and then gedit. That's the uh, graphical editor, text editor we'll use. Slash etsy slash Samba slash smb cunf. 
Uh, by the way, you may be prompted for a password here to authenticate yourself. I'm already authenticated, so anyway. There's only one thing we have to do here, and that's to uh, change the workgroup name. All you have to do is scroll down until you see the uh, pound sign that says change this to workgroup NT domain name your Samba server will be part of. And my workgroup happens to be FSPN. Uh, that's my workgroup name. Yours can be different. It can be whatever you want. I just call mine FSPN. And then I just save, exit, and that's it. Now, uh, what you're supposed to do at this point is actually restart the Samba service. You can do this if you want, but it's just easier to just reboot the machine. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and restart the Samba service manually, but I'm going to reboot this once again just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to exit here. And uh, when I come back, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we're back again, and now at this point we can go ahead and share out the folder. This is the easy part. Places, Documents, Pictures, Right Click, Sharing Options, Share. Just call it Screenshots, that's fine. Allow other people to write, yes. Guest access for people without a user account, yes. Uh, on this last one here, you may not want to check this. I, this is just on my local home network, so I really don't care. But if it's something where you want uh, more security on it, the only thing you want checked is the first one. But I want to be able to connect to it, modify files right to the folder, so on and so forth. So I just do that and do create share. You'll get a notice at this point about Nautilus asking to add some permissions automatically. Yes, add permissions automatic. And then you see this nice little icon here that tells you that it is shared. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Windows and I'll, we'll see if we can actually connect to this or not. Okay, here we are in Windows 7. Uh, if you're running Windows XP, this will work too, but I'm going to just click on Network. And... Uh, there is my Ubuntu machine, double click, and there's my screenshots folder. Click inside and there it is. Simple as that. So now I was able to get uh, from Windows, get in here, and we'll test to see if I have writing permissions or not. I'm going to actually rename this file to see if it'll actually let me. And it does, which means I do have write permissions. If I did not have write permissions, it would give me an error. But yeah, it's as simple as that. So. I've got my Ubuntu machine in here, and uh, I was able to share a folder, get into it with Windows 7, and that was the whole point. So uh, that's how to do it. Uh, again, I want to note that if there's anyone that knows how to change the workgroup name from within GNOME, rather than having to actually go to the command line to do it, I mean, I'm not afraid of the command line, and neither should you be, but if there's a way to do it without having to do it, that would actually be quite convenient. And that's it, guys. Take it easy.